Welcome back to San Antonio Living. Today is National Pie Day. And so our etiquette expert, Diane Gutsman, is joining us to help us learn the proper way to eat a pie, plus some pie trivia for us. It's good to see you. Nice to see you. Oh, man, you can turn everything into a proper way, everything right? Everything's a party. <laughs> yes. So, okay, let's start with what you call a finger bowl. What is that? So, when you go to a really formal meeting, have you ever used a finger bowl? Obviously not. Never heard of a what finger bowl in my life. Okay, I, when you I go, thought this was tea. It is not tea. She uh, was going to drink it as tea. I when you go to a formal meal, they may or may not put something like this in front of you. Okay. Okay. This is a, this is it's one way setup. of a finger bowl. Yeah. This is actually a Chinese vessel, but we're going to call it a finger bowl. Okay. And what you do is you dip your hands into the finger bowl. Oh, okay. You use the napkin that's already on your lap because you're already seated for your dinner. Sure. You bring it down to your lap and you wipe. You do the same thing with your little left hand. This, bring it this. down oh, to, your na to your lap and wipe. Okay. But Something you should know. Inside of the finger bowl, there's a lemon What's floating. That and that is just to that is just to be in there as a decoration. It kind of zests the water, oh. but you don't take it, you don't squeeze it, you don't suck on it, you don't you do, do not touch with it. the lemon. Do nothing with it. Okay. And then after you are through with your finger bowl, mm -hmm. you put it behind your dessert plate. And now you have a dessert plate ready to roll. Ready to go. Pie, okay. With your pie for today. Okay. Well, what are these necklaces all about? So one of these things are not like the other. So okay. here's a necklace. Mm -hmm. Is this a necklace? Yes. Is this a necklace? Yes. Is this a necklace? Yes. No. No. This one right here is pie weights. Pie and weights. you put these, you put these beads on the bottom of an unbaked pie crust. It's a necklace for my pie. It is. That's right. Okay. And this keeps the crust from coming up and making those little bubbles that you have to then put your fork in. Okay. Do you not bake pie? I have not baked a pie okay. in my life. A pie crust. Okay. <laughs> Guess what? I've baked two. Okay. So anyway, this Fair is enough. what you would use. Okay. Yes. What about, like, Cutting the pie and the amount of servings I'm okay, supposed to get. Okay, so a nine-inch pie. If you are the if you are the host and mm -hmm. you think, okay, I've got all of these guests coming over, a nine-inch pie is going to serve six to eight guests. Okay, so that's going to determine it. how many pies that you bake or okay. that you buy. So the very hardest part of the pie mm -hmm. is cutting the pie, the first piece. Do you use so this, we, the pie okay, server? So this is the pie server, and let me tell you how you're going to do it. We're okay. going to have a little contest. We're okay. going to see who can cut their pie better, and you'll probably win. Probably so not. you're going to make one cut, so you're going to make one slice. Okay. Okay. And so then, start from the middle and yes, then go and out. Yes, and by the way, there's knives over there we should be using, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> now you're going to make a second cut, but watch this. See the, see the pie cutter? Yep. See the size? You want to make sure that you're cutting it the size of the pie cutter. <gasps> no way. Because, That's a great tip. Look, yes, it's a, it helps us. Because if you cut it too small, then you're going to break it. Okay, so there's one cut, two cuts, and now here's the key, the mm -hmm. third cut. Okay. Make a third cut because that way, now we're going to put this cut. on our plate. Two cuts. So now uh -huh. you're going to, and hopefully you have clean fingers, the hostess of this party. I clean them in my finger bowl. Okay, and then you bring it to your dessert plate. Nailed it. Okay. It. Yes. Oh, oh, look. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I have some pie residue that fell off right here. So it's okay. Now we've cut the pie, but that's how you do it. The okay. key is to cut one, two, three slices. Uh, three cuts. Can three I eat slices. the pie? All right, you can eat the pie, but let me show you something. Okay. So you can use, what, see what you're doing? You're using your fork. Mm -hmm. But the, the real protocol is you would use your fork with your left hand, oh. times down, and you would use your spoon with your right because we have some ice cream or some oh, cream okay. on it. And you would use the spoon, you would use the knife as <laughs> a pusher, go like this. and you'd bring it to your mouth. Oh, good job. There you go. Delicious pie. But if you want, you can just use only your fork and you would use it times up. You never eat times down with one hand. You look okay. like a barbarian. All right, okay. let's do some pie trivia. All right. And we'll start with this. So this you mean as in this, the little birds, the birds. in the center? Mm -hmm. So these are called pie birds. Okay. And what this is is, you know what it is? Do you know what it is? Adventure pie. Adventure pie. Because I sent you the notes? Yeah. How you I know. know. I read that. Knows. Okay. <laughs> and what it is, it makes, it, it lets the steam come out. And then it keeps the pie from bubbling over with the apple or the cherries or whatever is in there. Okay. So that's what it is. And it's also called a pie chimney, pie vent. Pie, okay. yep. Got it, got it. Well, next okay. question for me, what is it? So what is the predominant sweetener in a pecan pie? Let's see if you know. Pecans. Sweetener. Oh, corn syrup. Sweetener. Sugar. Corn syrup. Okay, okay. Corn syrup or sometimes molasses. Okay. Okay. What is the American term used to add 
ice cream to your pie. What is a that called? Mode. A la mode. Yeah, right. and it's vanilla. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What flavor of pie can make a grown man cry? <laughs> cherry pie. Pie, cherry pie. <laughs> so it is not, it's not soft <laughs> I love that. Okay. I love that. Okay. Right. What liquid do Americans drink most? What is in that coffee cup right there? Milk. It's milk. Pie and milk. Pie and milk. Those are friends. People think it's pie and coffee. Okay. Pie and milk. Go okay. To, go together. Got it. Okay. What? Who wrote uh -huh. Bye Bye Miss American Pie? Drove my Chevy to the levee. Uh -huh. Where's the music? I thought we were I hear it. You can't hear it. <laughs> Who is it? Uh, it's Don McLean. Yes. 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 Okay. 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 And what is the traditional Mexican pie that has pumpkin in it? And some people would say it's not pumpkin pie. pie. It's, it's pumpkin a pie, pie. today. It's a pumpkin pie. Mexican. Oh, oh. Traditional. Did I say that? What yeah. is a traditional Mexican pie? Empanadas. Oh, look at that. And only because we like empanadas. That's Yum. Why. Fantastic. <laughs> all right. I feel like I'm up to date on all things pie. You're the pie girl. I certainly appreciate it. <laughs> Guys, if you've got etiquette questions and uh, you need a little help, you can find Diane Gossman here in San Antonio at the Protocol School of Texas. Everything you need to know is on your screen. You can also go online to diannegotsman.com.